so for number 59, um, the base of our solid is the same as number 58, which is this parabola um, y is equal to 1 minus x squared. And now the cross-sections are um, isosceles triangles with height equal to the base perpendicular to the x-axis. So they are going to look like this. Um, they're going to be isosceles triangles where the base, it goes like this. And then basically, um, we're adding them up across the x-axis to, to form a volume. Um, let me remove some of this so it doesn't get too messy yet. So let's think about how this area is going to look like, right? Uh, the first thing is we want to set up our integral because we're integrating from 0 all the way out to x is equal to 1. Um, this is the point uh, 1, 0, where it hits that that line, and actually um, we're going to do twice the integral from 0 to 1, because basically we're integrating all the way out to this other point here, which is at uh, minus 1. And because it is symmetric, a parabola, integrating twice from 0 to 1 is the same thing as integrating um, from minus 1 to positive 1 because of that symmetry. So this is what we're going to go. We're going to do. We're going to go twice from zero to one, and now let's think about what the area of our triangle is. Well, it is isosceles, so that means that these are the same, and then it's telling us that the base is uh, equal to the height. So um, the base is equal to the height here. So I'm going to put that as another b, and the area here was just base times height divided by two, so it's just b squared over. Two. Now, let's think about how we're going to express the space, because the base here is basically just the height of the function, right? Um, if you, Because you go from here, the x-axis, and then you go all the way out to touch where this curve is. So that's just the height of the function, and that's going to be our base, and this is going to be our cross-section, right? So basically, the base is equal to the height of that function, so 1 minus x squared. So then our area is going to be um, 1 half times 1 minus x squared, which is the same thing as 1 half times um, x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus 1. So now that we have this, um, let us let us integrate it. So this is, I'm going to put that in. That's 1 half times um, x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus 1 dx. So when we integrate this, I'm going to pull the 1 half outside, and that 1 half is going to cancel out with a 2. So this is basically just going to be x to the power of 5 over 5 minus 2x cubed over 3 plus x evaluated from 0 to 1, which is uh, 1 fifth minus 2 thirds plus 1. Um, the lower part just goes to 0. And so um, this calculation, let's see, 1 fifth minus 2 thirds plus 1 is going to give us 8 over 15. And that is our volume as we um, sum up these triangles whose base is the same thing as its height from negative 1 to positive 1. This would be negative 1, 0, this point, or twice from 0 to 1. It goes, uh, works out to be the same thing.